Hello, uh, here is my slash November burst. As you can see, this is the Gibson model. See slash right there, his signature on the truss rod cover. Of course, it comes with a blank truss rod cover. This is, I guess, the tobacco burst uh, color, and it's a triple A flame maple top. It looks really, really nice. I bought it at Guitar Center, and it sounds and plays great. You know, when I play it right, it's, it sounds pretty good. Um, so a few things. I had the Epiphone. I did a video with the Epiphone couple weeks ago and the Epiphone looks different. The top is not as nice and the Epiphone has a lot more red. There's really hardly any red in this one at all. So yeah, totally different uh, look to it or not totally, but significant. I bought this Gibson November Burst at Guitar Center. And as you can probably tell in the picture, the bridge pickup was replaced so this is the stock pickup but this is a seymour duncan it's all matte black and even the screws are black so i wanted to do this video just to you know and leave your opinion um not about my playing you know leave your opinion about this guitar i'm thinking about putting the uh scratch plate on it or the pick guard it it came with a pick guard but you know it's not installed and once you install it you're drilling a hole here and down here and you can't undo that so I, i'm reluctant to put the pick guard on it but i i don't like the look of this pickup i mean maybe this is more i don't know i don't i don't know why someone put a seymour duncan they probably heard slash plays with seymour duncan so they wanted a seymour duncan but it, it's miss it's mismatched so it doesn't look right and i don't really like the sound of it it sounds like thin and gravelly i don't know i just so i'm going to swap this pickup out and i'm at least going to do that i might put on chrome pickup covers and if I do the, the chrome covers over both pickups, I might put on the pick guard. So let me know what you think. I, I'm at least, like I said, at least going to change this one out so it'll look exactly like it did to begin with, like this one. Um, should I put on the chrome covers and should I put on the pick guard? I'm leaning in the direction of not doing the pick guard, just doing the covers, and then maybe getting a, a different plate here. This is standard or something, but what do you think? I, I suppose I might not put the covers on at all. At all. I already ordered them, or the, the shop did. They're not very much money, like 20 bucks or something, but I suppose I might not put them on at all, so it might just go back to normal with the two black on black uncovered pickups but I don't know I'm not sure and uh, leave your comments so that's the bridge pickup here's the neck both <laughs> playing with my fingers here but that's how it looks that's how it sounds so let me know what you think uh, I highly recommend this guitar. One last thing I'll say about it. I have 
the uh, the gold top and the appetite burst and they are very heavy this one is like a couple pounds lighter so I don't know if they're all like that but this is probably the lightest Les Paul I've ever felt and just super comfortable to play so I think this is maybe my new favorite guitar but I'm reluctant to put any holes in it for the pick guard so anyways leave your comments thanks for watching